Hi there, my name is Don Sigmiller and I'm here today to show you the new Chaos Brush Pack for Painter, for Painter Essentials, and for Particle Shop. These brushes are meant to give you the ability to add some randomness to your images. They're not really meant as drawing brushes, but they're great brushes for adding random patterns, roughing edges up, whatever you'd like to do that way. We'll start with these first 10 brushes. And we will start with a color that's kind of halfway in between, a new layer. These first 10 brushes are what are available in Painter Essentials. And this is Chaos One. And this brush, as you can see, will bleed and mix with some of the underlying color. In particular, you can see it mixing into the background color and going blue. These brushes are all at their default settings. I'm not doing anything to change them. And we'll move on to Chaos Bud. And this is really kind of a swirly and probably the most chaotic of all the brushes in the pack. Very out of control kind of brush. It's just not made to do much but add these crazy lines. And what you do with it, of course, is up to you. You can adjust the layer, you can change the mode, you can do anything you want and get some interesting effects using these brushes. Fiber Mess. This brush is a lot of little straight, fibery kind of things. And it's good brush to fill in some kind of gauzy effects, fibrous effects. Very thin lines, even at a relatively low opacity. It covers well, and you can build up as thick as you want with it. Next brush, Gauze Blend. And this is a glow brush. So if I pick a color, nice and dark, you can see how it glows. So that is Gauze Blend. Pasta Blend makes these rather abstract pasta strokes. Chaotic, to say the least. That's what this brush pack is all about. Sloppy Spill. This brush will pick up the background color and blend with it. Nice brush to add just messy things. I guess that's what this whole group of brushes about, adding messy, spotty chaos, a little bit softer brush, blurring softly into the background, totally out of control. Streak, really a fine, almost could draw with it kind of brush. Really small, streaky little lines that wander as you draw. Thin spring. Similar to streak in that it produces thin lines, but there's multiples of them. Brushes are all fun to use. You're really going to be limited by the creativity you bring to it and your tolerance for happy accidents. And the last of the 10 brushes available in Painter Essentials is Throw Crud. And this is like you would be throwing, I guess, a handful of sand or dirt at something. Sticks a little more in some places, doesn't stick very much in others. Will give you nice random patterns. You could make some good skin textures and things with this brush. So those are the 10 brushes that are available in Painter Essentials. In the brush pack for Painter, there are an additional five brushes that are available to you. We'll start off with Chaos 2. I like this brush a lot. It's one of those brushes where you can kind of discover it does something pretty cool when you just play with it. And I like the way it kind of makes little rosette or flowery things happen. But of course you can draw relatively straight lines. Actually they're not straight at all, but you can draw lines with it. Or you can spin it around, kind of like spin art. The next brush is Messy Spin. And that's just what it does. It spins around with relatively little control. What you do with it is really up to your imagination. The bigger you make your stroke, the more it will spin. The smaller, the smaller the spin. And you can increase as you go, so you get a variety of sizes. 
Harry blend, a very, very fine fibery kind of blender you can use to blend the background into the foreground and vice versa. A good brush when you want to break up some colors, especially if you lowered the opacity. Mudscutch, that's a word you will be hard pressed to find in a dictionary, but it's basically let's make something dirty. And you can use it to add some texture. And the final brush is Vortex. And if you just draw with it straight, you can see what it does. Follows the angle that you draw with. And you can draw these kind of neat, a little bit more controlled flowery shapes. And they can, of course, be as big as you want or as small as you want. Kind of a dual use brush, depending on what you want to do with it. You've got to practice with these. See which ones you want to use. Experiment with them in an image. And you will no doubt find a very creative way to use them. So those are the additional five brushes along with the ten above here that are available in the Chaos Brush Pack. Get them, use them to add some chaos to your images, have some fun with them, and see what you can come up with. Mm -hmm.